Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we got a service call for a water cooled air conditioning unit and let's see what's going on. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So I got my gauges on the unit and we are equalized. These are analog gauges and I converted them to digital and this is honestly awesome. So, I can hear our EVAP fan is running. We have a water cool condenser so we're not gonna have a fan for that. But it is calling, it seems to be a little bit. Let's check that thermostat. Okay, front desk lobby and vestibule. Should be this one, so it says cooling set it down okay it's set to 60 degrees and it's 72 in and this is the one that must be keeping the area cool so let's go if we look closely we have two led lights on one green and one orange we should only have a green indicating that the system is on and everything's okay but that orange is telling us us not sure how well you guys can see this but I took a picture of the indications so we have a yellow and a green on and that's saying unoccupied and the only other time the yellow light is on is if we have a condensate overflow okay so I turned it off to make sure that's the correct unit and this is definitely it let's set this system to cool let's see it's calling for 60 degrees. 72 in the space. So let's see what happens. Pressures are equalized. And we still have those two lights. Hmm. Might be on a timer. Let's, let's give it a few minutes. All right, so nothing happened. Turn it off so the lights are off. I'm gonna reset it. Okay. Now we have a, just a green light. Right now it's just a green light. The orange went away. Now another timer might begin. Supposedly everything is calling for cooling. Let's give it some time to see what's going on. And another way to check if I'm getting that call is to check the thermostat wires check Y and R between Y and R okay I'm really squeezed in here it's really hard to see anything do anything so we got the meter on volt I'm gonna check between R and Y we have 14.7 volts if it was calling we would have zero volts then again, that 14.7 is strange. Let me see, they do have a common. So let's check between R and C, and see if we have 24 volts here. Yeah, we have 27 volts. So the power goes into that thermostat and that needs to relay the signal to start Y. So let's give it some time. There might be a timer on the stat holding us out. I would say up to about five minutes. We do have the green light now. So let's see what happens with a little bit of time. Okay, We've got a steady green and orange. It's saying it's unoccupied and the thermostat is not sending the signal. Let's see if we can jump it out. Okay, everything just turned off. Oh, that was the engineer. He said he was going to reset the stat. So he reset the stat. We have a green light now. Which is indicating that it's calling. I mean, that everything is okay. And now there might be a timer. So it's a, it's a whole waiting game here. All right. Really hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay. So... between R and Y. 
we have zero volts indicating that the relay closed from the thermostat so the thermostat's calling so from wide to ground we have 24 volts so we're calling and then off the board now so the thermostat send the signal to the board but now the board has to send the sit come out with, with voltage and tell our compressor to start on so this contact is what starts that so this wire is one side of the coil it says compressor so we have 120 volts there the board is sending out power let's make sure we have that same voltage checking one side of the coil to ground we got 120 okay and then the other side of the coil to ground we have 120 this is a 208 coil so between these two we should have 208 but we have zero volts i think the coil went bad on this contact there actually and that's why it's not starting got the meter on continuity touch them together we got a sound pull the wires off we should have continuity on this and we have a thousand ohms resistance okay so the thermostat is calling this wire off the board says comp so that's right here I'll show you so that wire is sending out 120 volts and the other side of the coil has 120 volts but between the two I have zero volts and I believe this is actually coming off the same line that's why it's not doing anything yeah we have 115 in each leg but we need 28 208 across so if I go from here to this side of line voltage coming in there's zero volts so that's the same line and if I go across these two we got our 208 so I think I got to put these white wires to the other side of uh, the line voltage coming in and I think that's going to energize this contact so let's let's try that okay at some point it's really hard to get any footage so at some point this wire and the other side of the coil is coming from the same source which was this one so we got to put that other side of the coil to this because between one side of the coil and this wire we got 208 but between but well, originally between this side of the coil and the other which is coming from this source it's zero volts that means it's actually the same line so this is coming from line one and now we just got to put the other side of the coil to line two only one side is always going to be alive when the compressor calls it's going to send the other 120 through this leg and energize that coil and i think that's going to do it and if not we're going to blow sun up over here <laughs> all right everyone i hope you can hear that got the compressor running Got a thermometer in the grill. Fifty-nine degrees and dropping. And that was it. We weren't getting two away across the coil. So eight degrees and dropping sounds good to me. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time.